What's new? What's happening? Let's find out together. Hey everybody, Rick here, back for our weekly Islands of Adventure update. But first, let's start here in City Walk. Check out the movie theater here at City Walk. Minions Rise of Gru banner surrounding the whole theater. Getting ready for the movie opening on July 1st. The little merchandising kiosk right outside of the theater, all decked out with Minions gear. Most of this merchandise we have seen before, except I have not seen this mug for $17. Nor have I seen this Minions Rise of Gru Lego set for $70. Here in City Walk at the old Groove nightclub location, we can see updates to the facade and it has been officially announced by Universal now that this will be an escape room. It will be Universal's great movie escape and it will feature two escape rooms. One based on the Back to the Future franchise and the other, the Jurassic World franchise. So now that it's official, leave me a comment in the comment box. Let me know what you think about the escape rooms coming here to City Walk. I personally, I have never done an escape room. If I do these, and that's a big if, they will be my first. Stay tuned. Let's see what happens. I'm not like crazy about escape rooms, but you might be excited for it. So let me know in the comment box below. There is at least one cool new item to show you inside of the Universal Studios store, but maybe I'll find two or three, but at least I'll show you this one thing. Here is the limited edition 2022 collectible wand. Cost is $75. I'll let you take a look at it. But this is the new item inside the Universal Studios store that I wanted to show you today. I'm not sure if it's made its way into the Wizarding World yet. I'll check when we're inside the park. Tis the season of new movie mugs. Jurassic World Dominion has just released. Here's a mug for that movie. $17, just like the other mug I showed you. I don't think I've seen this before for $15. Little tin or metal wall hang. Okay, this is not a merch search video, so let's move on. I think Voodoo Donuts has a new donut in honor of the Jurassic World movie. Let's go inside and see if there is one. And yes, yes, they do have a Jurassic World donut. It has blueberry jelly inside. That donut is a bit too fancy for me. I just like a plain glazed donut. But if you're here anytime soon, you might want to give it a try. And if you do try it, let me know what you thought of it. Today's video is, of course, regarding updates at Islands of Adventure. It's what I post every Tuesday. But I did want to show you, before we made our way over to Islands, over here at Studios, they have added a new medallion for Under the Archway here, Minions Rise of Gru. An update video for Studios will be posted on Friday. So we're making our way over to Islands of Adventure now which in contrast to studios, I think studios has like at least five sets of construction walls. I don't think we're gonna find any construction walls in islands, but we won't know for sure until we get inside the park. Well, check these out. I think these Power Breeze cooling fans are kinda of new. It's Florida, it's hot outside. We do what we can. Hopefully those fans will help a little bit. I would like to point out that a few of the treats that are for sale at the Summer Tribute Store over at Studios are available here at the Island Market and Export, the candy shop here at Islands of Adventure. Seuss Landing is fully operational for the summer crowds. The Carousel, If I Ran the Zoo, Green Eggs and Ham, the High in the Sky Trolley, Cat in the Hat Ride, it's all working. It's all going on today. How did I forget to mention this one? Of course, One Fish, Two Fish is fully operational as well. Well, look at this. We have a team member on top of the Circus McGurkis Cafe painting up the roof there. How exciting. Looks like he's strapped in pretty well. On the bridge in between Seuss Landing and the Lost Continent, they have a little snack and beverage cart set up for today. I totally forgot about this, but over here by the Talking Fountain, there are a few construction walls. I think these are the only construction walls at Islands of Adventure right now. But, as you saw in my last update video for Studios, tons of construction walls up, but that's okay. They're sprucing the place up for us. 
I swear, I'm not trying to show you too much merchandise, but the All Hallows Eve Boutique just added some cool new shirts today. I have to show you. Each of these shirts I'm gonna show you will be $35. Here's the first one. Then we have this one over here, a surfer skeleton pumpkin head. This one here, like I said, $35. And then this one over here is pretty cool. Creature from the Black Lagoon, again, 35. And then this one, wish you were here. These are very, very fun, very, very cool. I almost left without showing you this one. And then this one down here is cool too. These just came in today. My daughter Courtney, who usually does a merch search video, a video just dedicated to merchandise, she's been busy, she has a new job, she's in college, and now she just left for a nine day vacation to California. I might start having to do the merch search videos myself. Friendly reminder, Hogsmeade Station, the Hogsworks Express, is closed until June 18th, reopening on June 19th. Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure is currently a 100 minute wait and it just turned three years old. It is the most popular ride in the park, always with the longest wait. Welcome, you know the rest. Oh, yeah. Most of the time I check on the Velocicoaster is a 45 minute wait. That is not the case today as it is a 55 minute wait, but still a great value for the best roller coaster in Florida. Some have told me it's the best roller coaster in the world. I cannot say that as I am only familiar with Florida roller coasters. And I will remind you of this. It's been a long time since I've mentioned this, but the regular lockers are in there. If you're in need of an oversized locker, you need to go in here and to the left. That's where you can buy the oversized lockers. The regular size lockers are of course free, but you do have to rent the large ones. The cost is only $2 while you ride. And then it's $3 for every 30 minutes after that, up to a maximum of $20 for the day. Over here by the Pizza Predatoria, this is the first time I've ever noticed this happening, but they have opened up additional seating over here. I, in all the years I've been here, have never noticed them to open up additional seating here. You know what guys, let's start an online petition. Let's get Blue's Baby into the Raptor Encounter. Surely I'm not the only one thinking of this, right? Surely Universal is thinking of this as well, right? Surely? Hey, don't call me Shirley. It's summertime, it's afternoon, it's hot. As a result, the Jurassic Park River Adventure Scream Splash Laugh is an 85 minute wait. Skull Island Reign of Kong is a 65 minute wait right now. I know this ride has similar ride elements as Fast and Furious Supercharged. Do not put Kong in the same class as Fast and Furious. Kong is a way, way better ride than Fast and Furious. Oh no, look at Ripsaw Falls. The water's all drained. The ride is non-operational at the moment. Wow. I don't think this is planned. Pretty cool to see it like without any uh, water in it though. You don't see that too often. See we got the Mounties out guarding the entrance. I wonder with Ripsaw Falls being down if that has affected the wait time for Popeyes and Bluto's barges. Doesn't look like too much. Popeyes is a 20 minute wait right now. Well this is embarrassing. I have a confession. I know about the water cannons there, those are obvious. They shoot water like right here. But over here, I just found out today, these three, you can control more water. I think these are connected to these like shower heads there. But I'm just discovering that for the first time today, you have more opportunity 
they get people soaking wet if you come over here and purchase these quote unquote water cannons are really water showers. Learning new stuff all the time. This water feature is not working today, nor is this one across the way from it. No new prizes at the midway here, though they have moved Fraggle Rock away from the tub toss over here to the uh, whack-a-mole. You guys remember him being at the tub toss a few weeks ago, right? I was wrong. There are some new prizes this week. Yogamals at the, I think this is Top Glow. Am I Top Glow? Yeah. Yogamals at the Top Glow. This is weird. It's afternoon. I should be hungry, but I'm not. But I have to show you some food today, right? I show you food every update video. How can I miss a week? I can't. I have to figure out something light to eat. Well, here's a place I never think about for lunch. The Croissant Moon Bakery. Let's go in here, pick something out, and eat it. This is the hot turkey platter. Shaved turkey, gouda, bacon, roasted tomato aioli served on a warm ciabatta. Comes with fruit and a potato salad. And I decided to go, since I'm at the bakery, with the strawberry cheesecake. And for some reason, I got an apple juice. The turkey sandwich platter, $13. The cheesecake, $5.50. The apple juice, $2.39. And now it's time for a quick food review of the hot turkey sandwich at the Croissant Moon Bakery in the Port of Entry. This is a tough one because it was a good lunch but nothing was outstanding about it. As far as the sandwich is concerned, the hot ciabatta bun or bread, that was really good. And the cheesecake, it was good. It's a good lunch. There's plenty of it. I mean, you'll leave satisfied. You're not gonna leave hungry. In fact, you could probably split the lunch. So no issues there. So it seems to be a good value. It's just nothing was so good that I have to recommend it. And nothing was so bad that I tell you to avoid it. It's just another lunch option here at Islands of Adventure and specifically in the Port of Entry. So I hope this helps a little bit. Um, if you're in the area and you want a short wait for lunch, because the wait was shorter than like say at Blondie's, which when it comes to like deli sandwiches, I do prefer the deli sandwiches they have at Blondie's over here at Islands. And as far as like studios is concerned, I would definitely recommend it deli sandwiches at the Today Cafe. The, the Croissant Moon Bakery, I mean, it's good, it's good. It's there, if you're hungry. Universal's Islands of Adventure, not that many crazy updates this week, but Friday's video, we're doing an update from Universal Studios Florida, and I already know we're gonna have a lot of fun updates there. Make sure you don't miss that. Also, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Watch this video next.